clean JavaScript can help you not to curse yourself when going through the code after a couple of weeks or months. Moreover, it also helps others to understand your code and as a result, you can be the most correct person in the company. In this video, we will talk about how to write clean code in JavaScript. Hey folks, my name is Aslan. I help developers to run front-end technologies. You should also check out my Instagram where I post tips, tricks, code snippets and share quick info about web technologies. Starting with the basics, that is variables. Make sure to have meaningful variables names. An example of this is let's say you are defining a variable to check if the user has authorized. A bad example would be this one, where the user could be anything. A good example would be this one, which is more like a question and looking at this variable without its value can give you an idea that this is a boolean value. Similarly, here is another bad example, where you are storing user's location in pause which stands for position, but that does not make any sense. A good example for this would be changing pause to location. A common mistake developers make is not using a persistent vocabulary for the code. This means that, let's say, you have multiple functions that fetch you some data from the user, but you're using the words user, player, and client in those functions. For example, this code snippet. This is a bad practice. Instead, what you should do is to keep your vocabulary persistent and in this case, use the word user only everywhere. Make your functions committed to performing only a single task. This helps you not to only name the functions, but also make your code easy and readable. An example of this would be, let's say you want to get the user's data from somewhere and send it to some other place. Here is a bad example. This function is doing so much work which is why this function will have a lot of kinds of code. You can refactor this function and convert them into three different functions. Three functions, three different tasks. By looking at these functions, you can get an idea of what does each function do. Moreover, if you want to reuse a specific function anywhere else, it's also easy to do so because it's performing a single task. Some developers, for some reason, want their code to be extra clear and this turns out to be distracted by some other developers. Remember, excess of everything is bad. This also applies to your code. Working towards achieving code readability might result in having too much context, which is a bad thing and you should avoid that. Here is a bad example. This object name is person, which is enough context. You don't need to use person for every property as a prefix. The better way of writing this example is this. In this case, we just mentioned the person once as the name of the object, but we are not using it anywhere else as a prefix. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you do so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next video.